Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Hello. And Sang. And today we are reviewing the Monster High doll Frankie Stein of the Welcome to Monster High line. This variant of the line is called Photo Booth Ghouls. So this is essentially the party line from Welcome to Monster High with, you know, the ghouls and very flashy party dresses. So of course, to start things out, we're going to talk about the packaging. Um, it seems like they've completely standardized the Welcome to Monster High packaging. It's like all the same um, packaging as like Monica Decay. Yeah, the Welcome to Monster High line, I feel like, has that, you know, unique banner down on the bottom. Frankie. It's in the same style of box as um, Monica and uh, Draculaura. So they're of like the dance line, so I don't think they're any different. Being, I guess this is the line that is featured in the second half of the movie once all the this is probably conflict the, is taken <laughs> care of. You this know, is this probably like, the ending scene where they're all dancing. The yeah, song so there's uh, quite a few of these dolls out. You know, Monica and Draculaura is a set. Frankie uh, in the same packaging style, Frankie and Draculaura are in the same um, price range. And of course, the budget ones, there's a bunch of them. There's, I think, I believe there's six total that are coming out. And those are uh, Laguna, um, Claudine, we got Cleo, and then a second wave is coming out too. And that one is Deuce, Abby, and Monica. So this so is a huge, huge line. line. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, this particular, you know, variant of it is, as we said, photo booth ghouls. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it has that standard little. Uh, it looks like disco ball packaging. You know, party packaging. So we'll take a look at the back. But yeah, so on the back of the box, um, there is a summary of the movie. Um, and unique to this series, instead of art for the characters, they just have prototypes of the doll. Like photos. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and open Frankie up and give you guys a closer look. Here is Photo Booth Ghoul's Frankie out of box. So Frankie here is sporting a whole new look with this time with makeup. Um, unlike original Frankie that came out, she has um, almost like a has light blue eyeshadow um, with the lightning bolt symbol um, through her left eye. Um, she has some light pink blush, but uh, we did notice something that was off about Frankie. Um, she does not have her scar. No scar. <gasps> no scar. <gasps> <laughs> Dramatic gasp from Autumn. <laughs> what? Uh, so I. So there's been a lot of um, Autumn. If you guys could see Autumn's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, uh, she. Yeah. So some people have pointed out that she's missing her scar, and um, yeah, like the version we got does not have a scar either. But the promo picture does have her scar, so it's very strange. Feels like it might just be a production error because I mean the other, you know, reboot Frankie obviously still has her scar. So I definitely don't think the intent is to like remove her scar for this new I generation guess, of dolls, but. I guess they just missed that step on the assembly line. Yeah. I, I I'm them. sure like probably like the, the base model or like the, the prototype they had in the, in the factory just was missing it and just no one bothered to put it on. But I have I seen it's one. Like how, yeah. how long have you guys been making Frankies though? I know, right? <laughs> Some. Exactly yeah. might have noticed that. Yeah. But yeah, whatever. supposedly it's an issue with like all of them, basically. So this Frankie also has gorgeous shimmery red lips. Um, it's a very gentle red. It's almost kind of like a shiny ruby red. Um, her lips are beautiful. I really appreciate the lips on this release. Um, and they do have a nice little shimmer to them. So, you know, if you look at it from side to side, there's kind of like a shine to it. Reminds me of like nice nail polish. Mm -hmm. um, so Frankie has side swept bangs with a um, thick bar black stripe in her hair. The bangs she really needed. 
Her face looks much cuter in this release. Yeah, you know, Frankie yeah. has kind of a square head, but um, the bangs really help hide her freaky frog. Yes. Her freaky frog. I think, <laughs> well, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this in Final Thoughts. Yes, her hair is tied up into a neat bun at the very top uh, with some, with the remainder of the hair in a long, uncurled, super straight do in the back. Yeah, what's kind of interesting about the bun is it's shown as pretty large in the promo. It's actually a pretty small bun in person. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the hairstyle, but there should be more of it. Um, I did notice when we pulled out her box, she doesn't have that much hair. Um, it's a nice length, as uh, it's up to her you know, rear, but yeah, it is very thin. It's very, not too much of it. Yeah, and she also, of course, has a nice blue little headband on the top of her head in front of the bun. Uh, the center of it is a gear, like a bolt, and, uh, you know, it's shaped like a ribbon, and it's very cute that, like, the bow, the ribbon itself is shaped like lightning bolts. It's a very adorable accessory, um, you know, per the usual, I would prefer it painted. I think it would be very nice to have, like, some little bit of yellow on that accessory. And she also has some cute little clustered bolt earrings on each side. All right, let's move along to her outfit. Photo Booth Ghoul's Frankie is decked out in a lovely party dress. Uh, she has a black collar at the top with a little bit of netting at the very top of her chest that falls into a very gorgeous deep cerulean party dress. It's almost like a plaid. It's like a checkered plaid outfit. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very fun. Um, it's really, really colorful. It looks like it would photograph very well. Yeah, and she has her sim like her um, her usual motifs and uh, symbols, you know, she got her gears on there, nuts and bolts. And uh, it looks like uh, the yellow portion of it looks like um, like um, seams on clothing. So it's very on theme for her. Yeah. You know, even though I, I love the pops of yellow on Draculaura, and we talked about how they've, for the most part, it seems like they've removed that, um, I love when they add yellow to Frankie. Um, you know, I think the deep blues and like fun yellows are a really fun combination. Um, there are little cute silver nuts and bolts throughout her outfit. There's a really cute, like, tall overlay on her dress that's it's a completely separate layer from the bottom of her dress. Uh, there are very shimmery, glittery nuts and bolts on it. And, you know, if you lift it up, you can see the pattern from her top continues. I like how the bottom of her skirt's uh, asymmetrical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has, yeah, it has a very cool crop to it. It kind of, like, curves down a little bit and makes it look nice and trendy. Yeah. Moving on to her gloves that are painted on. Um, what, what I appreciate about her painted gloves is it's, it's, uh, it's cropped at a, an, at a <clears throat> point where it doesn't look like they just dipped the paint, the, her, her arm in paint. It looks like it was painted on. And it's right before the elbow joint and it, on previous doll, like, they'll just, this whole plastic piece will be one color. Uh, looks like they actually spent the time to paint her glove, which is really nice. It, yeah, it is nice. I'm not usually a huge fan of painted arms, just because I feel like it limits, like, you know, clothing change options, among other things, but these particular ones are pretty cool because, yeah, it does look like, you know, just more thought was put into them, and, you know, they kind of curve inward here and, you know, have a different crop up here, so yeah, it's just, generally speaking, more time, a little more thought was put into them. Uh, they have tiny little bolt, you know, symbols, indentations on them throughout. What's kind of interesting to me is um, the gloves especially, I think, delve a little deep into like the nuts and bolts kind of robotic theme to the point where they almost look like, like gloves, I would imagine, like Rebecca wearing. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Do you think it's a bit much? 
a little bit, yeah, um, but they're so cute. I like that they went through whatever effort it took to not do it up all the way up to her elbow, mm -hmm. like the same kind of mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's like, they actually had to stop somewhere with mm -hmm. that mold or the paint or whatever they did for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And of course, what I really appreciate about this outfit as well, it's something very simple, but it is broken up by a nice little shimmery yellow sash at the waist, um, which I think really pulls together the whole lurk. Moving on to the shoes, Frankie is wearing cute little, mostly silver gray sandal wedges that have a nice little opening right here, kind of a very unique heel with screws all down the rim. And what I appreciate is like the fully painted yellow lightning bolts running down the side. And this little... Her strap, like the strap of the shoe um, is a, uh, a curved lightning uh, bolt. So uh, I appreciate the effort into that as well. Here at Toy Cat, we love painted accessories. So we really appreciate yes. that he took the extra time to paint the lightning bolt yes, on here. Very important. I'm glad they did that. So Frankie uh, comes with three accessories that are not attached to her. They are three masks, um, masquerade ball mask. Um, so the very first one here is the black lightning bolt mask. Next up we have the um, a skullet mask that is modeled after Frankie so it has some stitching on the skull as well as two gears um, on each side of it. Um, once again all three of these masks are can be held by Frankie. Last but not least she has a mask that is made up of gears or bolts. The extended portion of the handle of this accessory is shaped like a little lightning bolt and it has cute little bolt openings throughout. I wonder if these masks would be fun to photograph or not. I'm really curious how well you can pose her like, <clears throat> you know, with them actually on her face. Well, you might have just like Cuz historically these types of accessories have been kind of challenging to I think it might be a little bit easier just because with the new body mold, they're much more stiff. Yeah. So, you can actually try to hold it to one position more. But yeah, still a little tricky thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're very cute. I appreciate the fact that she comes with so many accessories. So, now that we mentioned all the things that she comes with, uh, she does not come with a stand or a brush, so you're on your own from there. That's gonna be a disclaimer. We're only gonna be mentioning for so much longer because yes. <laughs> these you new will dolls, know when it'll come with a. Uh, at a certain stand. point, it's gonna be a massive like red flag alert. This doll does come with a stand. All right, so our final thoughts on photo booth goals, Frankie. She's uh, she's shiny. <laughs> She's very shiny. Mm -hmm. I, that's like it for me. I mean, uh, kind of more elaborate and highly detailed and very theme-specific dolls aren't really my thing, so I'm not super excited about this doll. I am clearly in the minority, I understand that. I mean, she's obvious, she's cute. She doesn't really have a spot in my collection, though. So. She's, she's well put together. If, if she's your thing, I'd say she's high quality and worth buying. What do you think? <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I, Autumn and I are kind of opposites in that sense. And that, yeah, I, I love like the flashier kind of, um, you know, really detailed like deluxe dolls. Um, I think this Frankie is adorable. Um, I actually probably prefer her to, um, you know, the other reboot Frankie. Um, actually, very heavily because. Um, I think the bangs are just way more flattering to her face and you, you don't have that big forehead issue. Um, and I actually really like this lip color on her as opposed to kind of like that ketchup red lip color on the other Frankie. I really like this shimmery, kind of glimmery red. Um, 
the outfit's gorgeous. You know, I mean, for a long time I'd been kind kind of wanting like a, a Monster High version of Throne Coming, basically a bunch of like really pretty party dresses. It's probably you know along with. Uh, ghoul's Rule, probably the closest we're going to get to that kind of thing. Um, I appreciate her. I think she's cute. Um, don't really have any major complaints about her. Um, I think she's a pretty good deal for $20. I'm, you know, still among the many who miss stands. I'm very disappointed. They seem to have just cut those completely from everything. It's lame. But um, she comes with a lot of accessories. So... There's a lot of things you can do with her. Uh, she's pretty awesome. I would recommend her. So, you know, I feel like of the dolls we have reviewed so far after the budget cuts from Mattel, um, I honestly think this Frankie is worth $20. Um, she comes with enough accessories and um, she comes with enough paint and detail that she's worth $20 to me. Um, you know, besides the fact that brushes and stands are no longer a thing. Um, you know, she does come with just enough to get by to worth, you know, my uh, my interest in my purchase. Um, she's very cute. Like um, Autumn I mentioned, she is a um, little too much of one type of theme where it's just like a party. Uh, so if you're into more of a casual doll, her doll is more versatile. I can see why you would not want this Frankie. Um, First day of school, Frankie, which is the first um, Frankie, or the one that, you know, if you watch our videos, is the one that Mattel sent us. Um, that's more versatile, you know, you can take pictures of her in a park, you can take pictures with her, you know, um, in your room, and she will always look like she belongs there. Um, this Frankie is a bit more like, yeah, she won't look very good against, like, a garden or, you know, in a parking lot. Um, but she is very beautiful, she's very flashy. Um, in my opinion, she's definitely worth your money if you like these kind of dolls. Um, I definitely do, and I think she's, you know, very detailed. Um, I love that the fact that she has paint on her, like, a lot, a lot of detail went into her, into designing her, so I appreciate, appreciate that. Yeah, the fact that she's missing her scar is kind of weird. Hopefully they correct that with later releases or even just when next batch of these dolls come out that they'll give her her scar. Yeah, that better not be a recurring thing. I do have to say that. Yeah, no, I think it's just this doll. I mean, she has it in everything else. It's just, yeah. they might just forgot with this doll. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably just paint it on myself. And um, so, this Frankie is retailed at $19.99. Uh, we purchased her off of Amazon. So we'll keep, uh, we'll, we'll put a link to her in the description below. So if you like to purchase her, she's available right now. I'm um, sure she'll pop up in stores real soon as well. I know Target and Toys R Us are doing super clearance on their dolls right now. So they are preparing for the reboot. So get your wallets ready. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who, you know, you haven't been seeing any like new dolls in your stores or anything like that, it really feels like this new wave is a coming because yeah i don't know about you guys but all the retailers out here are having massive clearances on the older dolls especially you know monster high never after high so seems like the new stuff is very very much on its way so i would uh you know they've been available exclusively on amazon so far um it very much feels like they're on their way to stores so thank you for joining us here at toy chat uh once again you know like and subscribe to our channel and you know in their comments let us know which uh what you like about our reviews you like our discussion the most you like us going into detail on the on the dolls you like our uh, comparisons let us know in the comments and uh we'll see you next time see ya Bye.